Welcome back, and I've got an absolutely fantastic piece of apparatus to show you today. What we're gonna look at is the water hammer toy. So this lovely piece of apparatus has been hiding in a cupboard for years and years and years. Uh, I've worked here 14 years and I don't think it's ever come out of the cupboard. But more interestingly, I'm not sure anyone knew what it was. And if you search uh, on the internet for water hammer toy, there's almost nothing there. So I've got no idea how old it is. I'm so pleased it survived. But anyway, let's have a look at this thing and see how it works and see what it's designed to demonstrate. So I'm terrified of using this piece of apparatus because I'm really worried I might break it. Um, you've got to shake it just the right amount, um, not enough and it doesn't really make the noise. And I'm just worried one day I'll overdo it and crack the glass. But this is a really interesting effect and it's gonna take a little bit of explaining. So water hammer is a really interesting effect. And if you're an engineer, you have to understand it. I'm not gonna go into great detail here, but um, you can imagine if you had a pipe with air in it and some bends or joins in the pipe and you suddenly turned on the water and it rushed in, it can, there we go. It can hit those corners and the end of the pipe and break them open. So you should really turn on uh, water flows gently. I've noticed at home with quarter turn taps, if you suddenly turn them on or off, you can actually get a sort of water hammer effect. And this piece of apparatus demonstrates it very nicely. So if you ever get your hands on one of these, it's quite tricky to get going, but once you've got it going, if you just keep it bouncing, you'll get that water hammer effect all of the time. So what I'm gonna do now is try to explain what's going on. So what we've got here is a glass tube that's completely sealed and in it some water. Um, judging by how murky this water is, I wonder whether it was uh, um, really clean distilled water but when it was made, but maybe not. I've no idea how old it is. Anyway, we've got some water in here that's sealed in and then a bulb and at the top of that bulb, it's pinched off and the air has been removed from this. So um, what's in here is sort of water vapor and then liquid water. And um, if you think about it, when raindrops fall, um, they kind of break up in the air that they fall through and they have a terminal velocity that's quite low. And that means that when they hit the ground surface, they're not going very fast. Whereas with this, when the water falls, it's in free fall, um, there's nothing in the way, there's no air in the way. So it accelerates down the tube, hits the tube, hits the bottom and whacks it really hard. And in fact, it's a resonant effect. You can actually hear the glass ringing as it hits the bottom of the tube surface. So I hope you enjoyed that lovely piece of apparatus and you've learned a little bit more about what a water hammer is. If you ever get your hands on one of these, uh, treat it with care and please don't break it. Anyway, I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then.